Hello, investing putts with you again. Um, I've been trading the options wheel for about three months on the uh, Vanek Vectors Gold Miners ETF, more commonly known as uh, GDX. Um, on Friday, my 100 shares were assigned and I'm exiting the wheel. Going forward, I'm going to trade the uh, poor man's covered call because the implied volatility is really low and I can buy the leap call uh, for very cheaply. Uh, but I think it would be good to summarize um, performance over, over three months. Um, in that time, I, I sold uh, 15 options, usually weekly options. I had uh, two puts assigned and two calls assigned. So over the uh, trading period, the shares themselves are up 8.39%, while I've earned 8.55% trading the wheel. So about uh, about a break even. However, as you can see, the uh, the daily P&L is uh, far less volatile uh, trading the wheel. So even though I haven't really beat just buying and holding the shares, um, the reduced volatility of trading the wheel is, is definitely worth uh, worth something, especially when the market's going down. I typically sell 30 delta calls and puts when I trade the wheel. So this graph shows the options premium that I earn selling the options uh, versus the date. You can see that the premiums are trending steadily downward from February uh, to the present. So here's a plot of implied volatility over the past year from uh, Market Chameleon. I've circled the last three months with a red box. So the IV has been trending downward during this time, and the current IV rank is a pathetic uh, 3%, which is up from 0% last week. Um, here I'm overlaying the uh, implied volatility against the options premium. There's a pretty clear correlation between the drop in options premium and the drop in implied volatility. Um, this is no surprise if you know anything at all about selling options, but still it's, it's cool and to uh, see it illustrated with your own money. Okay. So in summary, um, I got about the same return trading the wheel on GDX as simply owning the stock. And this is a this is during a three month period where the stock actually went up about eight and a half percent. So it's it's definitely a, it's a bullish time for the stock. Um, if the stock is going sideways or or downhill, then the wheel um, you can usually break even or, or be slightly profitable uh, with the wheel. So, so that's good. It's definitely less volatility when you trade the wheel versus just owning the stock. So that's good. Um, the options premiums have declined in the three months that I've been trading the wheel on, on GDX. Um, and in fact, the premiums are so low that I'm, I'm going to switch to the poor man's covered call because I can, I can purchase a, uh, leap option for a relatively cheap price. Uh, going forward, I'm going to be very picky about when I sell calls in this, uh, low IV environment. Um, so when, when the price gets overextended. So, you know, I, I use some very primitive technical analysis when the, when the price is high or the RSI is high, when the stock looks overextended, um, I'm going to sell calls aggressively, probably at the money. Um, when the price drops within its, um, kind of within the, the price channel, but I'm still bullish on the stock. Um, I may not sell calls at all. I'm just going to hold the stock and let it, let it pop back up. So anyway, uh, I th hope you enjoyed this. Um, it's always good to, to hear what people are thinking. It's always good for me to tell people what I'm thinking because it helps me crystallize it in my own mind. But uh, yeah, if you have any thoughts or comments, I'd love to hear it. Um, until next time, we'll see you. Thanks.